Hi, I'm Jeff Sengstack. I'm going to explain how you can take an After Effects project made in a current version or a newer version of After Effects and save it such that people can open it up in an older version of After Effects. Specifically, I'm going to go from After Effects CC 2015 back to the CS6 version. Now, people need to do this because After Effects is not backwards compatible. In other words, you can't take a project made in a newer version of After Effects and open it up in an older version of After Effects. It just won't work. You can take a project made in an older version of After Effects and open it up in a newer version, but not the backwards process. And this process of making a project backwards compatible is something people need to do a lot because let's say you're working with a client who has an older version of After Effects and you want them to be able to view the project on their version of After Effects. Or your company like Blue Effects that makes templates and you need to make sure those templates open up on older versions of After Effects. So this is something that people need to do a lot. The one caveat is that if you do stuff in the newer version of After Effects that are in fact new to After Effects, they won't work in the older versions. So let's say you work with character animation or something in the current version of After Effects, that won't work in the older version. So keep that in mind when you want to make something backwards compatible. You need to make things that will actually work in the older versions of After Effects. The process to do this requires having the older versions of After Effects. And if you're a Creative Cloud subscriber, you can get these older versions back to the CS6 version. So here's how you do that. You go to Creative Cloud, open that up, and you scroll on down here a little ways to the Find Additional Apps. Now above here it's confusing. It says previous versions and you're supposed to update them. That's fine, but that's not what we're talking about here. We want to find additional apps. And it says previous version here, but that is not really what's going to happen when you click on that link. It opens up this here, and at the bottom it says View Previous Versions. So click on that. And it shows all the Adobe products that you can get previous versions of. So you scroll down your ways and there's After Effects. And then it says install, which is another confusing thing because you're not going to install just yet. So this whole process is a little cumbersome. You click on install and it opens up this list and it shows the available versions. Now, if you're going from the current version, which is CC 2015, you don't need 2014 because they're both version 13. But you do need the CC version, which is version 12. And you probably want to get CS6 as well so you can test your project to make sure it really does open up on CS6 and there aren't any problems when it opens up. So you need to install both of these versions. And I've already done that. So I'm going to close out of Creative Cloud here by clicking on this and going to quit. And I have those three versions right there. There's the 2015, the CC version, and the CS6 version. I'm going to open up a very basic project that I made in 2015 by just opening it up down here. Just a little text layer there. And now I want to save this as the CC version. You can always step back one step with whatever version you have. That is one thing they have done inside After Effects. So to do that, I go to File, Save As. And at the bottom, it says Save as a Copy as CC, which means the original Creative Cloud, and that's version 12. I click on that, and it gives me the name here pretty clearly with parentheses around CC 12, but that seems a little cumbersome, right? So I'm just going to go CC here and get rid of all that other verbiage there. Don't need all that stuff with all those parentheses. And click Save. And now I'm done. I've saved this back to the CC version. Now it will open up in the CC version. So I'll close this one down. And I'll open up the CC version now. It'll take a second. And I'll go get that project. So I'll open up the project. Get that one that's called CC. And now I'm going to save this as a CS6 version. So I go to File, Save As. And it goes back one step to the CS6 version now. Click on that. I'll call this one CS6. like so, and click Save. I'll close this down. And now I'll start up CS6 just to make sure that works. All right, now we're in CS6, so I'll click on Open Project, open up the CS6 version, and make sure it actually opens up, and it does. So that's the process to take projects back incrementally one step at a time. If you have even older versions of After Effects, you can continue to do this. I can go up to File, Save As, and save it as a CS 5.5 project. And so if you have older versions of After Effects, you can continue to go back in time, but you have to have these older versions and they're not available via Creative Cloud. But at least you know you can take a project made on a newer version of After Effects and step it back to the CS 6 version. Now, if you like this tutorial, then make sure to check out blueeffects.net and join the After Effects Academy, where you can get access to hundreds of After Effects lessons and live classes that I present every week.